Hello everyone. Today we will show you how to change the look of a table with Artisive Adhesive Films. We have a table that has already been renovated 5 years ago with a cherry tint. Today we want to make it a little more modern by using ST015 Dark Concrete Effect Film. We will use a different technique than usual. A technique that we will also show in another video in a more precise way but that you can already take as a starting point. We will cover both the top and the bottom. We are not going to remove the old vinyl, but we will apply the new film directly on top. This is the fastest solution especially in cases where the underlying surface has imperfections. Having previously applied the film, the surface is already flat and smooth. If you want to see how to remove the film you can always find the specific video on our YouTube channel. Let's see what we need, obviously the film, the spatula, the cutter, a cloth or paper to clean, the heat gun and this time we will use a solution based on water and alcohol, given the situation it suits. Let's start cleaning the table like this. As we will apply the film on another, the adhesion power will be very high. If we make a mistake it will be difficult to move the film and the likelihood of creating air bubbles will increase. Therefore we moisten the surface with the same aqueous solution. In this case I am alone, so I have prepared another table to help me with the application. We turn the film on the other table and remove the back paper for about 10 centimeters. We place this side of film on the edge of the table leaving about 5 cm of margin, as you are looking at. We spray the solution of water and alcohol on the table. Unfortunately, I have an inadequate dispenser, so I help myself with the cloth to homogenize the surface. Don't worry if some spots remain wetter than others, all excess water will then be removed. Once this is done we will completely remove the back paper from the vinyl. Then we also slightly moisten the adhesive part of the film, being careful not to wet the back paper. Then, with a single gesture, we go to place all the film directly on the table, in this way. With the wet surface we can try to reposition the film if we fail on the first attempt. From this central point I will begin to remove excess water with the help of the spatula, exactly as you are seeing. Starting from the center. You will see at the end of the video that this technique will reduce the risk of any air bubbles forming. After the application on the upper part we will have to make the edges. But having moistened the surface we find ourselves having the final part not perfectly dry. In this case we will have to wait for complete drying before proceeding. That's why we chose the alcohol based solution, alcohol dries faster than soapy water and allows us to finish the job faster. We use the heat gun to shape the edges. We stretch the sides in this way starting from the center. Once at the corner we proceed with the classic application with the 45 degrees cut that you find in numerous other tutorials. We fold the part that we don't need like this. After the cut we fold the side on the lower surface. We should then close the adjacent side and remove the excess, but first we make the other corners. Okay, now let's see how to finish the edge. Then let's go to better finish the underlying part. 
This is the final result. Now let's turn the top to cover the lower surface as well. Question, do I have to cover the bottom? Well, if you left a good margin, say about 5 to 10 centimeters, then that wouldn't be necessary. Consider that it is a table, the part remains hidden. However, we recommend that you always do this, in order to fix the edges and ensure excellent durability over time. We remove the excess margin. We cut along the entire perimeter. Then we peel off the excess film. We have prepared a headband cut to the perfect size. We just have to use the alcohol-based solution again to moisten the surface. In this way we will have the possibility to reposition the film if we cannot apply it immediately perfectly. Once finished we can reassemble the table. Here is the final result, we got a more modern table. I remind you that you can calculate how much film you need on the Artisizer.com website. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, by slightly wetting the surface you can decrease the possible formation of air bubbles. This is a great technique to use when a surface is very smooth with strong adhesive power. We hope you found this tutorial useful. See you soon. Bye.